Hey, happy Friday to you and welcome back to the Friday Funnies. You know, we have now survived seven months of 2020 and nobody knows what the future is going to bring. You know, COVID-19 is not going anywhere anytime soon. And that brings up a lot of questions like, when will the bars reopen? Well, I don't know the answer, but I am ready to make some predictions on what I see coming up in the forthcoming months. For instance, Labor Day this year is not going to be celebrated because nobody's got a job. Instead, it's going to be called FMIS, the first Monday in September. Columbus Day will be a little different now that everybody hates Columbus. You know, there won't be any parades, but there still will be a sale on mattresses. So we got that. And Halloween's going to be interesting. Everybody's going to wear a mask. And I can't wait for those little imps to show up at my house looking for a treat, which they will receive from 20 feet away via my t-shirt cannon, just like the ones they use at the ball games. I just hope nobody gets an eye put out with a Snickers bar, because we're all in this together. But enough about the future. Here is what happened this last week. The Bank of Korea is asking their customers to quit laundering money. Not the kind of money laundering that you saw in Ozark. No, these people are actually laundering their money. The fear of contracting COVID-19 led one woman, family name of Eam, to put her money in the washing machine. And at the end of the cycle, she was rather shocked to see that all her currency had turned into one giant clump of wet pulp. But she took it to the bank and they were able to give her uh, her real money back. Then a guy named Kim, he put his money in the microwave because we all know germs hate, you know, flames. Well, then he hauled his ashes to the bank and they reimbursed him too. But now the bank says that's it. If anybody brings in money that's been disinfected in the garbage disposal, they are out of luck. Frequent Friday Funnies contributor Richard Rosso made us aware of this story. Even though the Olympics have been postponed because of the virus, athletes, athletes like five-time Olympic gold medalist Katie Ledecky won't let this boredom stop her from making another record. Katie swam the entire length of a pool with a glass of chocolate milk balanced on her head. She didn't spill a drop of it, and I'd like to see her do it again with a glass of milk on her head and a glass of bourbon in her stomach. Then, my friends, we would have a spectator event worth watching. Let the buyer beware. You know, that little bit of wisdom has been around for a long time, but it's never more appropriate than it is now with everybody shopping online. This was the case of Georgia Roberts, who was packing to return to her Baptist University, and she noticed she needed a cutting board. So she went online and ordered a white marble cutting board. When it arrived, she quickly noticed that the marble contained the image of a male appendage of rather epic proportions. She doesn't know how the dingus got there, but that's all part of the mystery. She's had several offers in the meantime to buy that cutting board, but she said, no, she's not gonna let it go. She's gonna hang it in the kitchen to intimidate male callers who think they might measure up. <laughs> Probably not. Hey, that's it, my friends, for another Friday. Thanks for joining me with the Friday Funnies. Please pass and share these with everybody you know. And are there any questions? Perfect, I will see you next Friday.